Hey YouTube slash Tony Mac, uh, Miles here with another update uh, on my Hackintosh situation. So, um, here we go. Go. Um, yeah, here's the system anyway. Yeah, here's in my bedroom. I've got it open right now, but um, this is my cyber acoustics satellite audio system. Great speaker system, great surround sound. And like I've t discussed before, my Acer E Machines uh, E180 HP. <coughs> and some other desk stuff. Ooh, CPU. Interesting. Why is the CPU there? I don't know. What happened last night? <clears throat> anyway, here's the system. Looks good. Runs fine. I still need to work on some cable management, but there was a patch uh, released by MacMan called the Chimera 1.9 patch. Uh, it came out a couple days ago. And what this did, which is super exciting, um, it added support for multiple NVIDIA graphics cards. So you can see here, here's my G2 GTS 250. And down here is that NVIDIA GeForce 8600 GT that I talked about using. I talked about it, but I was never actually able to use it because I got a kernel panic whenever I would plug it in. So, now, because of this update, everything is working fine, and I've got the added uh, 256 megabytes of power that the 8600 GT gave me to the 1 gigabyte of graphics power that the GTS 250 has. So let's go here into uh, the system report and to graphics and displays and you can see bam they both show up they're both recognized and you don't need to make any additional text edits now you can see here we got some specs all up in here um, here is the page for the 8600 GT PCIe bus it's in my uh, x8 lane slot and obviously only one megabyte of RAM because it's uh, SLIing with the uh, GTS 250. See that? That's also X8, uh, even though it's in my X16 slot. But um, and you can see that it's outputting. It's the one that's got the output to this uh, display currently. I haven't tried it with multiple displays yet. I'm still trying to pick up some old uh, other displays. But um, other than that, everything's working fine with the two new cards. No problems as of yet. And it's all perfect. Okay. All right. Hey again, everyone. So uh, I'm just going to run you through some of the benchmarks that I took uh, with this new setup. I used um, Unigine Heaven 3.0, which is actually a very nice uh, benchmarking. I like the music. Do, 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 do. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, so show package contents, contents, data. Uh, and here we go. Here's the test that I did this morning, just when I had put them both in. See, I'm getting 38.6 frames per second, which is a lot better than what I had before with Cinebench. I was getting something like 31, 32. Obviously, it's not that much of an improvement, but it's still quite big because uh, just, you know, just the fact that the GeForce 8600 is such a, an old card. Uh, 972 is my score, minimum frames per second of 13.3, and a maximum of 72. So you can see CPU model, and down here on GPU model, you can see that both the models are recognized. And let me just show you the settings here that I did. Uh, I opened GL, obviously. Um, I did it at my display's resolution, which is 1360 by 768. Maybe that might take away some accuracy if I were doing it on like a bigger display. Um, medium shaders, medium textures, trilinear filter, um, and 4x anisotropy, whatever the hell that is, uh, and occlusion enabled, refraction enabled, volumetric enabled, and tessellation disabled. I wish I knew what that meant. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, this should be up on the forum in a little bit. And, uh, thank you. And I will s keep you updated on how this Hackintosh goes. Bye-bye.